All right. After a brief interruption, we are back. Uh, Tiny, did you decide to cast a spell? I put that spiritual weapon up where I thought that bad dude disappeared. Oh. Right. And uh, tried to swing wildly at him with it. Uh, so make an attack roll with. Well, actually, hold on. Got to do two things first. find you a hammer first there's a spiritual hammer it's an actual hammer so what's the range when you cast it 60 feet by that where I thought that uh, dude was so can you mark which square you think which square you think he is in? Like use your arrow pointer. That one. Like right, right there. All right. Uh, make an attack with disadvantage. Oh, that was an initiative roll. Oop. <laughs> the hammer swings for initiative. <laughs> Let me see what your bonus is supposed to be. So plus eight. Did that one not transfer? It did, but we've essentially given you four rolls on it now let me see if you hit it if your bonus actually all right uh you would have hit on that first roll if your bonus had been added uh so you hit something uh roll damage nice all right Let's see. At the end of your turn. I got to see who can actually see anyone. Y'all are so far back. Yep, that works. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, he is going to use his legendary action to command ally. Um, and he is going to command the uh, Tome Knight to make an attack. Uh, he's going to fire a Force Bolt at Asmir, which he gets to make with advantage. 26 to hit. I assume that hits, Asmir. Oh. Uh, they make a disadvantage because he has that cloak? Oh, yep. I have the cloak thing. Uh, then it'll be a flat roll, so it'll be the first roll, which is still the higher one. Okay. I tried. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, 15, his, his armor class. All right. That is 17 points of force damage, and you are knocked back 10 feet. 17. And now it is the Iron Tyrant's turn. Who is he aware of? Yo, Mama. <laughs> There's just no good place for that new box to go on the measuring tool. 
I agree. And you can't even minimize it. That's my biggest complaint. With what? Oh, the like the window pops out and yeah. And it's just kind of in the way. I guess if you click on the icon again, it does go away. All right. Uh, he's going to do something hardcore. So he runs forward. Uh, he jumps off of the, the sort of raised dais um, and comes down. Um, he gets to here, uh, this sort of next drop, and he leaps up in the air and then disappears in a burst of nothingness. He is going to reappear uh, 10 feet in the air uh, beneath Alex. So he is still in midair. Uh, Alex, I'm going to need you to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom? I'll see you guys later. Uh, that is just barely short. Uh, you are frightened. Till the end of your next turn. At least you can't go very far. Unless he tries to open a window. Would he let like the endless void in if he opened a window? Well, you, this is also the one where you don't have, you don't have to run away unless it specifies. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so kind of that was part of his bonus action. Uh, so mid-air, he swings this massive blade, and there is like an edge that comes off of it. Um, so he is going to swing with his soul burst attack. 21 to hit. That barely gets me. All right. He deals 25 points of necrotic damage. And he gains temporary hit points. Uh, he is going to swing again. This is a different kind of attack. Uh, 28 to hit. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Oof, it is going to hurt. To the tune of 38 points of necrotic damage. And you cannot regain hit points until the end of your next turn. You feel the necrotic energy of that seeping into your body. Um, just for fun, give me a medicine or arcana check. Woof. Nope. <laughs> Something happened there. You're not sure what. Uh, and he uh, is going to fall uh, down to the ground and lands on his feet holding his giant sword. Asmir, you are up. <laughs> hey, I get to go. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Um. I'm going to do the tried and true method of casting fireball, which if I can find it, what version I want to cast. I'll do third level. I was going to try to hit the two guys that are still up there and possibly the invisible guy if he's. Oh, wait, I guess I should measure how far away I am. I'm pretty sure I'm close enough. Yeah. And where are you dropping? Where are you... Um, like up, uh, like up top here somewhere. So it hits those two guys and maybe the invisible guy. All right. Wow. 
why is the 20 foot radius bigger depending on where you put it yeah no i yeah that measure tool is so weird to me like yeah say the the templates are better also because they do the the actual like the squares square yeah um, circle is always confusing i'm just going to call this a perception check to see if you grab this third guy because you have the range yeah but it's just knowing where he is yeah. so give me a perception check perception <laughs> i'm doing really terrible you just this. got no clue where he is yeah, i'm firing blind literally All right, let's roll some saving throws. This is not going to feel good for some of them. Oof. Well, Tome Guy did not like that. He took full damage. And let's check with Mr. Mindfire. Oof, he also took full damage. Oh, man. I figured y'all would mow through these guys, but I didn't think it would be quite that fast. <laughs> um, all right, anything else? Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead, just for fun. I'll bonus action firebolt. Uh... No, never mind. I'm not firebolting anyone. Nope. Okay, now oh, I guess I'll move. I'm just going to hide back here. All right, at the end of your turn, uh, Iron Tyrant has a new set of legendary actions. Um, Probably just makes the most sense for him to keep wailing on Alex. Oof. Yeah. All right. He's going to make another Reaping Blade attack. Oh. Alex, how your health doing? I'm going to die. Well, that's a 32 to hit. He got a 19 on the die. At least it wasn't a crit. Yeah, right. 28 points of necrotic damage. Awesome. So one of you might need to save him. Wait, Uh, what is my... Oh. I was like, give me so what is my- medicine or arcana check, Alex. This time with advantage. Uh, we'll probably just do arcana. Can I have it a little bit better? Yeah. Eh, good enough. It. Um, now that you've experienced it twice, you've run into this just a handful of times. Not only does this prevent you from healing, but you get the impression that if you were to hit zero hit points from this attack, you would just die. No, mm-hmm. no. All right, uh, it is the Inquisitor of the Tome, who is very hurt, having a bad day, not a lot of great targets. Oh. It's going to come out to there. Man, everybody instantly got behind pillars, which is sort of what they're there for, but... Right. Nope. He is not casting an infinite AOE circular attack. Right. Um, he doesn't have great line of sight on anybody, but he is close enough, and he saw Tiny go behind that pillar. He is going to cast Implode. Oh, no. There is a rent in space uh, as a line of nothingness is carved in the air 
uh, like five, ten feet from Tiny. Uh, Tiny, give me a constitution saving throw. All right, that is successful. Well, luck and now. All right, that was his action. Uh, Jack, it is your turn. What was the Twilight Sanctuary health, or did he roll that? 14. Oh, 14, okay. So, when uh, this guy appeared, would I have thrown my daggers at him? Yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and do that. I would if I could get away from the stupid measuring tool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kent is letting us know that he is not satisfied with dinner because he has picked up his bowl and is now throwing it around. <laughs> I've always seen videos of dogs doing that. I got a 24 to hit. He's got it on its side and he's now rolling it. And he doesn't know what to do about that. <laughs> uh, 24. Uh, let's see that. That hit. And uh, would that have gotten sneak attack damage? Uh, he's 10 feet away. He has to be within five, right? Oh, but you were attacking from stealth. Right? Weren't you hidden? I mean, I did. I did hide with my bonus action. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just count it from stealth, because otherwise I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Um, then uh, 31 damage. All right. That is a healthy blow. It rips through all the temporary hit points he had managed to steal and still does some damage to him. And that was technically done on his turn? Yep, that was a reaction. Cool, cool. Um, so now let's start with my turn and he's on ground level, right? Yes. Okay. I will. Why, why is everything weird? <laughs> I will come here. Well, actually. I'll come here because I won't get flanking being on the other side since Alex is in the air, right? Right. So I'll come there. Uh, I will tell you this. As you get close, there is some kind of aura coming off this guy that seems very unpleasant. Is it garlic? Would I have noticed it before I got in it? Yes. Okay. In that case, I I will not get, go there. I was here. So I would go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 into it, and then back, back out. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> And from here, I was going to try to stab him with my sword, but that aura really turned me off. So I back up and I will throw my psychic dagger at him from there. All right. All right. Getting a 14 to hit. 14, don't do it. Okay. Um...
And with that, I'm going to use my bonus action to dash and get back behind my pillar. All right. So that's action, reaction, movement, or action, bonus action, movement. And I still have my reaction technically, but yeah, so that's that's everything. Well, he super didn't like that, so he is going to burn another oh, legendary. Wait. Um, how much health do I get? Ten HP. It's fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, he super did not love getting sneak attacked, uh, so he's going to turn around. Uh, oh, he's going to have to make it with disadvantage, but that's okay. He's going to use his soul burst, attacking with disadvantage against you. Still a 26 to hit. Yeah, yeah, that'll get me. You don't have the frightened condition. You take 30 points of necrotic damage. He swings this massive blade faster than you can even imagine. And a trail of silver and black in like a crescent moon shape rips off the edge, flies towards you, and catches you as you try to get behind the pillar. It is the Mindfire Knight's turn. Uh, he is also going to jump down. Everybody's so far away. Uh, he is going to come down to here and uh, he is going to try to mind fire Brick. Notorious for his good intelligent saving throws. <laughs> he got a nat 20! But <laughs> 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 Brick staying in it. Uh, Alex, you are up. Yeah. So, um, because I'm 20 feet in the air, if I just fly away, does that trigger attack of opportunity? Uh, it does not, because he basically teleported right to the edge of his range to hit you. So when he fell down to ground level, he is now out of melee range. I was really hoping for that. <laughs> Strategy, pro strats. 30. I'm going to go behind this pillar. All right. Um, we'll, uh, 40... Wings. I'm. If I just go back, go up to. That's gonna hurt. I'll stay there and. Remember, you can't regain hit points until after your current turn is over. Yeah, yeah, I know. Try to think of what to do to not die in the in between time. Uh, dodge action is always good. While you think, I'm gonna let my dog out real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely. Yeah, take the. I think I got it. Hmm. We'll take the dodge action with the warden stance in midair. That way, when something does come, I can just hit it. Right. That's. I don't know why I didn't take the warden stance here and not try and get a chance to hit him. I always keep forgetting I have silvery barbs that I can use. Although I think I can only use it once. Oh boy, if I end my turn, at least get temp HP. Yeah. 
All right. So what's the plan? Uh, uh, we're going to do dodge action and bonus action uh, warden's maneuver. You can do both. All right. And now you can receive healing. I so think get you tiny... still get the temp hit points. I think that's a oh. separate mechanic. Because you end your turn, and on, on ending your turn, that's when you get them. Yeah. Which, what are they? 14. 14. Perfect. I need that. Uh, Brick is going to just come wail on the mind fire guy. Good. So, cool. let's... Oh, he's also going to do this. <laughs> Something that uh, that Harry has never done. He is going to use his Hand of the Void Fist and mark this target when he hits him. Uh, so, first attack. Does he actually miss? <laughs> and he misses on his first attack. Goes again. <laughs> Hits that time. Twelve points of damage, and he marks him. He's already very hurt. Uh, he is going to use his flurry of blows. Yeah, he's going to use his Flurry of Blows, uh, and he's going to do them with Ares and Athena, and is going to attack the other one. Actually, what's his range on that? Oh, he's going to make one against other Alex and one against the other guy. Hits against the other guy. Oof. 19 points of damage and marks him. Let's see if he can hit the Iron Tyrant. Oh, oh just barely hits. Awesome. Hits for 19. And is going to spend charges and mark both of them. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, that's the end of his turn. Uh, Inquisitor of the Sword uh, is invisible. Gonna make an attack with advantage on Jack. That's an 18 to hit. Yeah, that gets me. He becomes visible. He swings this thing two-handed and it's gonna hurt. Thirteen slashing and seventeen force damage. And then... If I were to use my reaction to half that, would it half both of yes. the sources of damage? Yes. I want to I wanna do that. So it was 13 and what? Uh, 17. So we'll call it 7 and 9? Uh, I would just do, do 15. Do 15 it makes sense total. to just add it up and divide it once. Oh, okay. Uh, as part of his attack, he can teleport 30 feet, and he is going to come take a swing at Tiny. 19 to hit. Uh, 
18 points of damage. All right. You're not concentrating on anything. That is his turn. Tiny, you're up. What do we want to do? I think I'm going to... Upcast Guiding Bolts on Bad Alex. So it's thing to know that is a ranged attack. And since you have someone like right on top of you, uh, you'd be making it with disadvantage. Well, that's less than ideal. Um... If I was to cast that, s- hmm. has this dude that's on me has he been hurt at all? Uh, yes, he took some damage from the fireball. Oh no, he didn't take damage from the fireball. Um, yeah, no, I missed him. What has he taken? Or is, it, oh. or is he, he from the spiritual weapon? Yeah, you it? hit him with the spiritual weapon. Invisible guy. Okay. Uh, How about a bonus action? Shove him. All right. That's an opposed athletics check, right? Yeah. Uh, do that as a bonus action? Oh, no, that's not a bonus action. I have that's... bonus action to telekinetic shove. Okay, that's a bonus action. But that's actually yeah. a strength saving throw, right? Strength saving throw of 16. To, Got a to move 17. the guy that's next to me away. Okay. That was worth a shot. <laughs> uh, otherwise, my bonus action sucks. Uh, I'm not used to having somebody like on me. Uh, mm-hmm. let's see. Do I have anything that's actually everyone has the ability to disengage, but it's a full action. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm... Unless you have something that makes it a bonus action. I'm just seeing if I have any attacks that are touch other than just swinging my stuff. Cause that sucks. <laughs> But if I cast a ranged spell on the guy that's on me, is this also still at disadvantage? Yes, it's whenever you have someone within five feet. All right, how about this? What if I um, move to the other side so I'm flanking this dude? Because then wouldn't advantage? Yes, that would cancel out. Cancel out. Let's do that. And then I will... Pull the dead on the guy that I'm next to. All right. Or... Is this going to be a good time for uh, Spirit Guardians? I'm not concentrating on anything yet. Let's upcast Spirit Guardians. This seems like fun. All right. So that will go into effect. Uh, not go into effect. Goes into effect immediately. He'll take damage for the first time at the top of his turn. Okay. 
All right. Uh, at the end of your turn. And then I'll re up that. All right. He's got line of sight. He's going to burn his last legendary action. Uh, and is going to sweep a uh, reaping, no, sorry, a soul burst at you. Oof, but only gets a 13 to hit. But that's okay, because now it's his turn. I'm upset if I then lost uh, <laughs> my spirit cards or anyway. Yeah, immediately I lost You're it. thinking about it. <laughs> um, Didn't have given you the idea. I mean, I feel like that's just what happens when someone uh, right. when someone Sounds pops good. up a big nasty concentration spell. It's like, oh, target. Uh, he's gonna go okay. ahead and move down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's gonna keep trying to smack you with soul bursts. Oh, but suddenly can't roll. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, he rolled a 2, a 5, and then a 19 on the die. So that's a 30 to hit. So that is 30 damage for Tiny. So that would be a DC 15 concentration check. Oof. And that's going to be the end of his turn. Asmir, you're up. Okay. Um... Do this again. I'm assuming I can hit those two guys without hitting brick. Oh, probably. I aim it right. Yeah, I think that'll work. They are going to make some saves. That is Tome and Mindfire. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that one doesn't even matter. That one fails. Sad day. You, you broke Brick's really cool thing. Oh no! <laughs> Brick had a cool thing he was gonna do. He has he has not used it since he got it, but Brick's weapon has a like nightcrawler attack on it, where he can oh. teleport and hit every person he's marked at the same time. Um, although is Alex also marked? I mean, evil Alex. Yeah, but it's it's not worth it for just one. Oh, so it's only cool if you have multiple people you can hit. It's all right. They're dead. Also, it's not my character. All right, that was your action. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I'll bonus action. Um, do firebolt again. No oh, man, I just can't roll for that. And who are you aiming yeah. at? Does a 19 hit uh, uh, Evil Alex? Uh, 19 does hit. Oh, I lost it pretty good. All right. Man. All right. Well, that guy down there is dead. So that brings us back to the top with Jack. 
Okay. So there's only two guys left, right? Yep. This guy can get sneak attack because we're both there's two people in five feet of him. That's true. That's very true. Um, let's do that. Move next to Alex. And I'm going to try and sneak attack this guy with my sword. Uh, or I changed my mind. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to move. And I'm going to steady aim so I have advantage as well. And I'm going to hit him with my psychic dagger or attempt to, anyway. Getting a 24 to hit. 24 hits. Why won't it let me... I'm going to roll another attack without advantage and just hit the damage button. Because I don't know why it's not letting me hit the damage button. Okay, there we go. Uh, 25 total damage. All right, that is going to hurt, but it's not going to kill him. And then uh, what's my temp HP that I'll get this time? Um, I think it's 14 again. All right, 14 it is. All right, anything else? Nope, because Steady Aim took my movement. All right. Uh, or Alex. Well, I'm just going to wail on him. He is right here, and it's just too convenient. <laughs> you got flanking and everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Yikes. one and a two. Yikes. <laughs> Oof. I've hit more people. I had a six, 20. 20 will hit. That will also hit. And then for my bonus action. Seventeen. Okay. For a second. Quick arrow gains some HP. All right. I guess I'll stay put behind my pillar. Sorry, Tiny. That's oh. action, bonus action. I'll stay put. It is Brick. Brick is a little sad. <laughs> Brick, if you're oh. so sad, just beat him up. <laughs> right. If you can, just teleport to him. Oh. Um. 
Yeah, I guess Brick's yep. just going to jump into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 50. And he will... I guess he will just go ahead and use it. He will expend the mark and teleport. He arrives in a burst of force. Uh, the, the sort of handprint that he had left from his attack... Uh, although I guess in this case it's a wolf bite mark, uh, explodes. So the Iron Tyrant is going to make a dexterity saving throw. Which... Oh, what's his DC? Oh, it's only 14. Why is that so low? Um, so he succeeds, so he's going to take half damage. Which is going to be 5. But it gets him in range. So he's just going to make 2 more unarmed strikes. 22 to hit, 15 bludgeoning, 2 force for 17 damage, and Brick's going to try to burn through some of this guy's resistances. So he's going to use Stunning Strike. The guy gets a 15, which almost worked. Makes a second attack. Which is a crit. For 19 damage. I have a dog climbing my arm. And six more damage for 25. Iron Tyrant is starting to look hurt. Brick used action, bonus action, movement. He is done. It is the Inqu Sword Knight's turn. Um, start of turn. Do a thing. All right. Uh, he needs to make a wisdom Weapon. saving throw against Spirit Guardians. Yeah. yeah he it gets does. a 16. That's maxim, right? I don't remember what he needed. Uh, yeah, 16 will smack him. All right, roll a damage. buttons oof he does not enjoy that as your spirit guardians rip into him uh, but he is not going to go down without a fight uh, he is just going to try and smack the crap out of you so you lose concentration 20 to hit twenty five points of damage so that'll be a uh, DC DC 12 uh, constitution saving throw. All right, he's going to swing again. Only gets a 14 to hit this time. So that is the end of his turn. Tiny, you're up. Get him up, Tiny. Uh, 
Where's this dude looking? The one right next to you? Yeah. Uh, fairly hurt. He's not like we'll fall over from a stiff breeze, but... Verb told the dead on him, so 17 wisdom saving zero. All right. He passes. So what would you like to do with your bonus action? May I use my bonus action to Misty Step. Yep. Do yep. where? I kind of want to keep everybody in the circle, though, too. <laughs> Maybe if I just kind of jump over to the other side of the pillar here. What's that look like? It leaves Asmir out. I already have the compared piece. So. Then I'm all right with it. And you know what? I'll even go on, get something in between me and that dude too. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Actually, we're going to go one more just because... Let's see. A couple more. Reason being that this guy could disconnect, or could actually technically circle around Alex and still get me yeah. if I was where I was. Uh, and then we'll just uh, re-roll our temp HP. All right. Then it is the Iron Tyrant's turn. What is he going to do? Brick is right up in his space. That did not recharge. Once again, I'm being climbed by a dog. All right. Uh, he's just going to tear Brick up. So he's going to use Reaping Blade. Misses on the first one. Hit. Miss. Brick was very lucky. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh geez. Somebody's getting his balls cut off soon. <laughs> anyway. That's what's happening to Brick. Um, 
Brick gets hit with Reaping Blade for 33 points of damage. It is not fun. All right, Asmir, you're up. Um, Since Sunbeam's only five feet wide, I could cast it through him and it wouldn't hit Brick, right? Um, yeah, you'd be able to swerve it to the side. Okay. Because I'd I move over a little if that would help, but... I should be able to do it from there. Oh, I can't find it. There we go. All right, he's going to make a con save. 27. Is that half damage? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and doesn't get blinded. All right, roll it damage. I uh, should have already rolled it. Yeah, 17. Oh, that's 17. My brain interpreted that as an attack roll. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, I'll bonus action firebolt again, just for fun. There we go. That will hit. It's almost a crit. Oof. All right. Well, let's see here then. He's going to go ahead and use one of his fresh set of legendary actions. And throw a uh, soul bursting blade uh, towards. Oh, but he's got disadvantage. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, in that and, case, um, he's just going to uh, smack brick again. <laughs> 19 to hit, which does hit. Oof, brick takes 37 points of damage. And he's going to have to move away or he's going to die. Oh. He is at 17 I use, health and cannot heal. I say I can use silvery barbs in the next time he gets hit, I guess. But All right, Jack, know. you're up. All right. I'm going to move behind so that I'm flanking with him now. And I'll have advantage and I will attack him with my sword. So I'm glad I had advantage. So I got a 19. 19 hits. And that'll do 30 total damage. Oof. Once again, he did not enjoy that. I have a lot of HP. 
I mean, and, yeah, he's a CR-15 boss. And on his next attack, he'll have disadvantage because I dealt sneak attack damage. All right. Anything else? Yeah, let me look at my bonus actions real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and stab him with a psychic blade as a bonus action. All right. Getting a 21 to hit. 21 will hit. Just dealing 8 additional damage. Not a lot, but every little bit counts. Yeah, Chip he's away. not having a great day. Yeah, I think he lasted longer because he could go invisible, so... Oh, I have 100% been putting the damage on the Iron Tyrant, not the guy you're actually hitting. No. <laughs> oh, the guy we're hitting is dead, right? Um, yeah, that will that will kill him. Huzzah. Dead horse. Or in this case, a dead swordsman. All right, anything else? Uh, nope, just how much temp HP am I getting now? 15. 15, one extra, nice. <laughs> At the end of Jack's turn, he's going to burn another legendary uh, and is going to turn and take another swing at Asmir. Uh, he's just going to deal with disadvantage. Might have to throw something at the dog. We're in a standoff. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. With disadvantage, he rolls a 12 on the die, so a 23 to hit against Asmir. Okay. Can I use Silvery Barbs to... Let me double check how Silvery Barbs and Disadvantage interact. Okay, that makes him re-roll one more time. Yeah. But it is not with disadvantage. Oh, okay, so this is a regular re-roll, yeah. Yeah. Sixteen. Whew. Close. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Yeah, let's see. that still hits me. <laughs> That's 29 necrotic damage. So that's going to be a DC 14 concentration check. You say 29? Yep. And then constant... Uh, so constitution, yeah. Yep. No, wait. Uh, saving throw is to check. Uh, it's a saving throw. Yeah, okay. Man, y'all are really lucky on those. <laughs> All right. And Alex, if Silvery Barb doesn't, uh, I don't know, work or what do you want to call it, does it say that like, does the, you can then choose somebody else to empower? Like, can you still do that? I think so. Okay. So, I'd, yeah, I'd give it to Brick, uh, the empowerment. All right. Okay. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> We're going right a behind snippy him. Snippy little dog. <laughs> yes, I heard the yeah, the snapping there. So uh, Alex is just going to fly right behind him. <laughs> and we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> 
I'm gonna miss. Twenty four. Twenty four oh. will hit. Six will hit. Seventeen, that's not gonna hit. Seventeen uh, does not hit. I had a feeling. We're actually gonna axe and surge though. And uh hand through try hand three more times. Twenty. Twenty hits. Nine. Twenty. And after those three, we're just going to go all in with the If I'm in his aura, can I not heal? Uh, the aura kicks on at the uh, start of your... It'll be the start of your turn in it. So nothing and happens then I won't to the heal. Well, then in that case... I'm going to... Pop my last potion of greater healing as a bonus action. Fifteen. Zero. To end my turn. All right. Then, at the end of your turn, he will burn his last legendary action. Uh, he's going to burn his last legendary action, and Alex, he's going to attack you or Brick. Brick has seventeen um, hit points. I've 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 hit point. I've I've picked up my hit points, so I can I can eat some hits here. All right, then I'm going to let you make an intimidation check to try and get him to focus on you instead. He gives you an ice cold look, turns, and slashes down at Brick. I use warning maneuver. How much can warning maneuver shift it by? Eight. I'm going to screenshot this. <laughs> if it'll go. Hey, but it also has damage. Alright. Got that locked in. He rolled a 31. So now we're going to see how much damage he does. Brick has 17 hit points. He'll cut the damage in half. Uh, but this attack does 7d10. And if it hits, Brick dies. Come on, baby. Come on. You've harassed enough. It deals 35 points of necrotic damage. Cut in half becomes 17. Oh my gosh. It is exactly enough damage. Brick is reduced to zero hit points. And as he is hit by this reaping blade, 
you see this cold stare from the other Alex as without even looking, he cuts Brick down behind him, staring you in the eyes the whole time. Brick doesn't even have a chance to cry out to make a sound. The necrotic wave rips the life out of his body and he falls to the ground. Ares and Athena wink out and Brick is dead. Tiny, it's your turn. Well, um, do I get the feeling that Revivify would work at all on Brick? Yes. Guys, we got one minute. Kill this guy. Close enough to where he's in range of my spirit guardians, but not so far away, or not so close that I'm in his nastiness. The spirit guardian's 15 feet? Yeah. You can just barely do it. Uh huh. And then, uh, being very, very mad, um, I'm going to. Upcast level six guiding bolt. Oof. All right. Yeah. We're going to go <laughs> ham on him. Go big or go home. Twenty four will hit. Your blast of radiant energy crashes into him. He is reduced to zero hit points. But he's still standing. Oh. He stands there for a moment, and you just see these wounds all over his body, uh, blood just pouring out. And as his blood leaks onto the floor, um, everybody give me a perception check. Perceive that he is a zombie. So all of you are able to notice this who look for it. Uh, as his blood falls, uh, it washes across the ground and there are the same runes that are around the windows run all across the floor of this room. Hmm. And as his blood falls across them, they spark and ignite the runes all around the windows flare and it's like the glass in the windows disappears the nothing that is being held at bay pours into the room but it doesn't consume the room instead it seems to be focused it pours into his body and you see him growing in size all of his wounds, uh, they don't close. Instead, they are filled with this void. And it's like his body stretches and expands. 
the sword that he holds is now as big as one of you. And he is going to use one of his mythic actions. He is going to use splinters of possibility. Um, Alex, Asmir, and Tiny uh, are all going to need to make a charisma saving throw. Oof, uh, everybody fails. Plus eight, and I still couldn't make it. Uh, you all are not pushed back. Instead, it's like the space around you fractures, and you slip through holes in reality falling out into a new location. Uh, and each of you is going to take 2d8 necrotic damage. Mm. Nine necrotic damage. I'm guessing that would trigger my concentration check. Yes. Uh, same for Tiny. So it's a DC 10. So if you succeed. And I think I'm going to leave us here for tonight. This alternate Alex is now towering over you all. Uh, there are streamers of nothingness pouring into the room from the open windows. Uh, the room is not just cold, but you can feel a uh, a sort of the sensation of nothingness is filling up the room. And as this other Alex towers over you, you can still see Brick's uh, slashed and drained corpse lying on the ground. Yeah. And that's where we will pick up next week. Okay. So I'm going to end the stream. Bye, Internet. Bye.